17 years old and three months ago I had an abortion and I was still 17 and I got pregnant when I was switching between the pill and an IUD and I had taken a pregnancy test that beginning of the month I missed my period and it came back negative. So when I went to go have my IUD put in, I had, it was the last thing on my mind that the pregnancy test that I took that day would come back positive. And it did. <laughs> and my mom was waiting outside for me, expecting me to come out in like a whole lot of pain. And it was, I was very stressed out about how I was going to tell her, but I was very confident in knowing that she would be supportive and loving. And so I came out of the room and I just simply showed her the paper that I got that said, <clears throat> please call our group health women's, women's health clinic at something <laughs> to schedule your abortion. And she kind of just stopped in her tracks and gasped. And for like a split second, I thought I didn't have her approval or she was disappointed in me. And that, like that very second, I just started to cry. And I don't know if I would have told her if I didn't find out when she was with me, but I'm so glad that I did because her support is what got me through it. And I went home to my boyfriend who was waiting for me also to be in pain. And he could have not been more supportive either and said that he would be there, like holding my hand if I wanted him to. And I said, like, absolutely. <laughs> and um, he said, even if you change your mind and you don't want me there, that's like totally up to you and I won't be hurt in any way. And then <clears throat> it took me a few days to schedule my abortion and I don't know why, <laughs> I just really put it off. Um, it was just so unreal to me because I never thought it would happen. And I had my abortion the next week after I scheduled it and I had to get up at five in the morning to put mistoprostol, I think, up, to, up my vagina <laughs> to loosen my cervix. And then I had to get up at eight to take Vicodin and antibiotics and ibuprofen and trying to eat a normal breakfast, which I couldn't do because I was so nauseous all the time. And then my boyfriend and I ran to the bus stop so we wouldn't miss the bus and we bussed up to group health on Capitol Hill and we went to the wrong building <laughs> and we went to the right one and I checked in then I had to go back and get blood blood drawn and then I took a detour to get a donut <laughs> and then we went back to the midwifery and I just sat and waited for my name to be called and I was just like, some, there was a few other like pregnant women and I just felt like everyone knew that I was there to have an abortion. And I went back and the staff was very, very supportive and for me a little too supportive. Um, I talked to the nurses and like they just confirmed that I took everything I needed to on time and I had my abortion and one nurse like rubbed my foot the whole time which I felt was uncomfortable <laughs> and then because like you bleed after she put a pad in my underwear and put my pad and underwear on me which I said I could do myself but she did it anyways <laughs> and I went back to the recovery room and they told my boyfriend that he had to leave which was the only time that I felt pain in the entire process. And I had an IUD put in right after, and it took of all like 15 minutes. And I went home and I walked, like I, I really pushed for pho, because I would, 
was so hungry. <laughs> and that was like the first full meal that I could eat in weeks. And I think that was one of the best parts of it all. And then about a week later, I decided that I wanted to tell my class that I had an abortion and that's friends included. <laughs> and it was a work day and everyone had their like faces and computers. And I was very, very nervous, but I raised my hand and I started off just talking about the project I'm doing on abortion and no one was paying attention. And then I said, I had an abortion. <laughs> and it instantly caught everyone's attention. And it was, it's something that I think changed my life forever and like caused me to be a better person and just advocate for safety in general, but specifically like safety of talking about abortions and it was such an uncomfortable topic because no one said anything. And I expected people to talk. And I even brought up how like the nurse, one of the nurses called it a baby. And that's not what it was at all. And I was only estimate estimated to be like five or six weeks pregnant. So very early on. And I don't know how to end it well. <laughs> um, it just, I'm doing like an entire senior project on advocating for like the support women need because an abortion alone is just a procedure, but the way you treat women going through it changes their entire experience in life. And that's so incredibly important.